How's it going everybody? My name is Hyper and today I'm going to be walking you through how to get uh, games for very low prices or for free. I've been active in this space since 2016, which is eight years as of recording this, which is a little crazy to me. Um, but I have seen the uh, free game and cheap game culture evolve and grow and suffer and everything. So I know all the ins and outs and kind of what to look for and kind of the things that are have more staying power that would be useful to share with you. Just to clarify, this is mostly for Steam games. There are some uh, cases where you can get uh, games for other platforms that are cheap or free, uh, but nine times out of 10, it's gonna be for Steam. The culture surrounding free and cheap games is much different than it used to be when I first started. And the golden age of free games, uh, which I like to call it, is unfortunately been, go been gone since uh, around 2018. Uh, 2016, 2017 were like the golden times of getting free stuff. And that's why I became so interested in it because of when I started uh, looking into uh, this stuff. And although the golden ages are still over, there are still plenty of options out there with various degrees of time investment needed to get uh, free games from them. Um, the cheap games are pretty uh, a given because it's just like a storefront. Um, but the free games, they might require some more work because being free, it's not going to be handed to you most of the time. So I'm going to begin with uh, cheap games because this is a little bit of a shorter section just because uh, it's more straightforward than some other things. But if you aren't aware of it, it's not going to be obvious to you. One of the most valuable resources you have for getting uh, games for really cheap is bundle websites. And one of the most popular ones is Humble Bundle. This one has been around for quite a long time. They have a storefront with uh, games at a discounted price that will just give you a code. They have bundles of games that they release occasionally, and they will have multiple games at different price tiers. So um, you can pay a certain amount for a select number of games, or you can pay this amount for all the games, stuff like that. So it's whatever fits your budget, budget whatever interests you in that particular bundle. Um, it just gives you a lot of options and a really good bang for your buck. And there used to be a ton of bundle websites uh, years ago. Um, most of them are gone now. There's still a couple. Humble Bundle is the one that's uh, stayed true, and I trust them. I have spent a ridiculous amount of money uh, on Humble Bundle, but I have gotten a ridiculous amount of games, and these games were heavily discounted. But it's also cool because they also have bundles for other things like software and books and things like that in case you're interested in that and those are really good value too. So let's take a look at some of the current bundles that they have running. Uh, sometimes they aren't that good or they just don't interest a particular person. Uh, sometimes they just have a huge bundle of everything. All of these bundles are intended to be given at least some of the profits if not all the profits to charities which I think is a great cause and which is why they're able to get some really good games because uh, these developers, they want to support the charities as well. Currently there's a couple bundles. There seems to be a VR bundle. Um, just bundles of different uh, genres and interests. This bundle here uh, has a lot of great games. There's several LEGO games and DLCs. Um, I love LEGO games. And Middle Earth, Shadow of War, and Shadow of Mordor, which are fantastic open world games. And you can get all of these games for just $10. This is the kind of value that I'm talking about that is really appealing for a site uh, like Humble Bundle. And like I mentioned before, there's options depending on what you want to buy. So you can buy this six item bundle that just includes these Lego games, or you can buy two items and it just has these few Lego games. And it's just a dollar for these two Lego games. So there's a lot of options, a lot of price points uh, that work for uh, many people and, uh, and you support charity. So it's a great cost. I won't focus too much on just the regular storefront just because they're not as good of a deal as a bundle would be, um, but they are still uh, perfectly good deals uh, that you might want to keep an eye out for. And some bundles that I always keep an eye out for are some of the ones that are recurring. So about every year or so, they release a software bundle for uh, Vegas Pro, which is a video editing software, and you can get like $500 of the actual software and plugins for 50 um, so I bought that maybe three or four times just to keep my uh, video editing software uh, newer and it's a really good deal and it's painless. 
And they also have some bundle events. Every holiday, they have the annual Yogg's Cast Holiday Bundle, and this is dozens of games from various developers, really high-quality games, and it's like about $35. All that money goes to charity, and you get a ridiculous amount of games. And sometimes they'll have special event bundles uh, to raise for charity um, that have lots and lots of games uh, for a really good price. Uh, so it's a really good website to keep an eye on. Maybe just subscribe to their newsletter and see uh, when a really big bundle comes out and see if it interests you. There's a couple other storefronts that just sell games at a discounted price like Fanatical. They're really good. They also have bundles. Um, that's probably one of the OGs that still sell bundles that I would trust. Um, and then Green Man Gaming sells keys and sometimes bundles uh, at a discounted price. Um, I would be careful about going what about what sites you go to because uh, game keys are kind of a gray mar market product, um, which is a little different than the black market. It's not illegal, but it's pretty shady sometimes, and uh, you can get uh, scammed if you aren't careful. So stick to big name websites, especially the ones that I mentioned, and you will be happy. And next for the cheap game section, I am just going to show you uh, the store that I run, uh, that I sell uh, video games and also some physical items on. Uh, for the video games, I have hundreds of them, and everything is at at least a 50% discount from its retail price. I mostly have games for Steam, but I also have keys for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Origin, GOG, and Xbox. I update the store with new games weekly at least, um, if not more. There's already a lot of great options available, and you can go to the website and look around and see what interests you, and then you can place an order on my website. Depending on when you're watching this, this website could look a lot different than it does now, but this uh, store is here to stay, and I will keep updating it and making sure that there are some really great deals for all of you. So this would be a little secret advantage that I'm sharing with you guys to uh, get some cool games at a really cheap price. Probably cheaper than I would like, but uh, just for you supporting me by watching my videos, I am giving you this deal. So make sure to check back often because there's new games all the time. And now for the exciting part, we are going to talk about how to get free games. No strings attached. There are many conglomeration websites that collect uh, different free game offers for you and put them all on a page and it looks all pretty, but they aren't always up to date, they're not uh, fast, and sometimes these free games, because they're free, they go pretty quick. So you want to be able to stay on top of it, and your best friend, if you get into staying on top of these free games is reddit there are two subreddits that i recommend and my subreddit of choice is free game findings as of right now there's a little under 300,000 members and games are shared basically the second they're free uh, if it's found it will be shared here and you will know about it so i check this daily if not multiple times a day to make sure that i don't miss any free games there are multiple different types of giveaways that can be shared here, and it's much more loose than some other subreddits that are more specific. Um, this, will, this subreddit will share games that are free from any game platform, and this includes Steam, Epic Games, GOG, itch.io, and some other third-party websites that maybe are just from like a publisher or just a specific niche. The easiest giveaways are straight from Steam developers, and they will just make their game free right on Steam. Um, this isn't the best example because this was just went free to play and not exactly uh, discounted to zero dollars, you know. But you just get the link, and you just go to there, and you just add it to your library. Simple as that. Another common way that is seeing a resurgence recently, but was much more common back in the day, um, is a website called Gleam.io. This is just a contest giveaway website. Um, and sometimes they will have instant rewards. Uh, you just have to complete a couple tasks and you will be automatically given a code. And a lot of these giveaways, especially ones where you have to complete tasks and it's not just given to you directly, you have to uh, interact with social media. I recommend making an account that's not your personal account uh, to enter these giveaways. That way you're not spamming your followers. I'll show you this giveaway as an example because I haven't done it personally yet. Um, all I had to do was just follow this person on, on Twitch and then redeem one of their rewards, which is really, it's, there's so many different tasks that you can uh, do. 
um, and sometimes they're really easy and simple like this, or sometimes there's, they're really involved. It's really just about how much effort you want to put in. Um, but as you can see, I just completed all the tests and I was immediately given a key. And I can just copy that and go to Steam and redeem it. And I already own it because it was probably given away before. But you can just see that uh, it was a free game. That's all, that's all it was. It, it really is that simple sometimes, um, which is really nice. I can't cover all the different types of giveaways just because there's a lot and they vary. Um, sometimes they're just as simple as logging in with your account and claiming uh, the, ga the game. Sometimes you have to do a couple of tasks, sometimes you have to check out with an account even though you're not paying anything. But this subreddit is my personal favorite because games are shared everywhere even if I'm not interested in it. I like to know about it just in case there's some uh, odd game that's given away for free that actually really does interest me. If you aren't as interested in seeing all these different platforms and you just want to see Steam games, there is another subreddit that's just as good. I don't use it because I like to uh, see everything, but Free Games on Steam is another great one. They will share the same giveaways like uh, with the Gleam.io giveaways or just direct uh, add to library on Steam. There's just as many people on this subreddit, so if you want a more focused uh, view of Free Games, this is a great place to go as well. And I want to make clear, please be nice to everyone on these subreddits. They don't have to be sharing this for you to see. Um, so uh, please be uh, nice to them. Don't be mad if you miss something. And just understand that everyone is here for the same thing as you. So there should be no bad blood. So something that you'll see shared every week as of right now, I don't know when this is going to end on Free Game Findings, is that uh, Epic Games, uh, they make Fortnite, um, they... A few years ago they started their own game store and to bring in customers they give away a free game every week they were supposed to stop it after the first year but it's been three and a half I I mean don't quote me on that right now but it's been several years at this point and they've been giving games away one one or more every week um, I've been there since they started so I have a ton of games like hundreds I think um, and they give away some amazing games. It's kind of crazy. So you just make an account here. Um, it'll be shared in the subreddit or you can just check in every Thursday. Right now, uh, they're giving away Ring of Pain. I don't, I'm not familiar with the game. Um, and then next week is going to be Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, which has been given before. Uh, so it's a common occurrence to see some really high quality games. They gave away all three of the Batman Arkham games, like Arkham Asylum, City, um, stuff like that. And they gave away a ton of Lego games, just some amazing stuff. Borderlands 3 was given away a month or two ago. Um, so if you're missing out, I know it sucks to hear all that, that you missed it uh, for free. Um, especially GTA 5, which is about a year and a half ago. That destroyed their website. It was uh, fun to see. Um, but this is a great place to go. I mean, you have to download their specific launcher to play these games. But if it's a game that you want to play and you don't want to pay for it, just come here and you can get it for free. Yeah, they, don't, they don't reveal what games are coming out until the week before, um, but it's a good thing to check in and see what's going on because uh, some of these things you just don't want to miss out on. Next website I'm going to show is called Steam Gifts, and this was a pretty popular uh, website style uh, a few years ago. This is probably one of the only ones that survived. Um, there was a ton very similar like this, but this is probably the only one that survived just because it was so well supported um, and well known. Uh, basically, you will sign in with your Steam account and you get a certain amount of points every day and you can enter giveaways from other users that um, if you win, you just could be, are given a code and you redeem it on your account. To sign up, you have to be at least level 5 on Steam and your account cannot be limited, so you have to have spent at least $5 on something. If you aren't level 5, it's really easy. You can just go to your profile and find uh, this community badge um, under the badges page on your profile. And if you complete all these tasks, you will reach level 5. People are always giving away games of varying uh, quality, uh, price levels, anything like that. Uh, more expensive games will cost more points to enter, naturally, um, but there are some cheap games uh, that are easy to enter and uh, a high chance of winning if not, not, not a lot of people entered it. So you can just enter what you're interested in, or you can enter it strategically, to, uh, that gives you the most chance of winning. It's really just up to you how you want to use the website, um, but I've won 
a lot of things. I'm covering up the codes even though I used them, but this is, I've been using the website for six to eight years, and uh, this is just some of the things I've won. They're not as good recently, but uh, as you can see, there are five pages of things. I've won almost 400 games from here um, just over the years. Uh, this is with very regular use, so if you aren't using this regularly, um, it's you're not going to win as much. Um, but it is a really great uh, resource to have just as kind of like a passive way of possibly getting free games. The website also holds annual uh, giveaway events, uh, especially around the holidays, um, and they are really great to uh, see a ton of uh, really good games being given away. So, so far I've talked about some great places to get really cheap games, uh, mostly for Steam, um, and then also the best resources to get uh, to find out about how to get free games and also the best places to check regularly. And now I'm going to talk about a few honorable mentions that I don't think are the best because of the time investment that's required, but I think are uh, worthy enough to be mentioned in the video. The first website is called Loot Boy. This is a webcomic, um, but it's also a mobile app and a website. I'm showing you on the website just because it's easier to show on video um, rather than my phone. It's a tough one to sell because it revol revolves around loot packs, and a lot of them are bought with real money. Um, however, there are a ton of ways to get stuff for free using both uh, the coins that you earn and their premium currency, which is diamonds. As you can see in the corner, I have 484,000 coins, which is a lot. Um, each generic loot pack only costs 2,000 coins, so that's a lot of uh, packs. Um, the generic loot packs, they don't really get you games, they just get you um, stuff for mobile apps, like just random bundles and things like that. Um, but the thing you want to look out for is the daily login. Um, this can be done on the website or the app, um, and you can get coins, and if you log in every day for a week, you can get uh, two, uh, 12 diamonds, um, and you can buy any basically any premium loot pack um, for 100 diamonds. It's a lot of math to do, um, but they have lots of different uh, packs and they have monthly packs, stuff like that, um, that you can get like actual like games in them. Um, I've gotten a ton of games from this over the years. I've been using this a long time, which is why I have so many coins. Um, but you can do quests to earn diamonds. You can do the typical surveys you'd see in some apps to get like extra uh, uh, coins and things like that in mobile games. There's just a lot of options to get diamonds. It's a slow process. It, you have to be pretty dedicated, which is why this is an honorable mention and not like a, a focus. Um, but you can get any of these uh, packets, packs that you see here um, for just 100 diamonds um, once you've earned them. So I've bought plenty. Um, I haven't gotten the best games in the world, um, but I have gotten many that were notable. Um, I, don't, I don't have any examples uh, because I don't, ha I don't have a record of what I got from here specifically. But sometimes they give away uh, full games uh, for to be purchased with just your coins, which can be earned for free and very easily. Um, recently they gave away a game called Figment uh, that you could buy with coins. And Figment is an amazing game. I played through the whole thing on my gaming channel, and I really love that game, so I was happy to see that that was being given away, although I did miss it. So like I mentioned before, you can earn coins from daily logins. You can also earn coins by reading a comic every week. There's a couple hundred, and you get 350 coins per comic read, and you can read four per day uh, to get uh, coins. Uh, so you just log in every day, get your daily boost, and read four comics, and you will have a ton of coins in no time. Another way to get coins and diamonds is through uh, secret codes, and each week the comic has a secret code hidden in it. You can look for it yourself, or you can uh, use a uh, forum uh, to uh, see if someone else has shared it. This one I use is actually on Steam Gifts, and it's updated uh, very actively. Um, and they will share uh, the comic codes and also uh, some promo codes that uh, Loot Boy itself shares. So you can see some give coins or uh, they might even give you a loot pack or sometimes diamonds. The diamond codes are given out in usually notifications on your phone um, or maybe a newsletter. I'm not subscribed to it so I wouldn't know. Um, but 
if you want, you can check this regularly and see if there's any new codes for you. So all you do is just type in the code and redeem it, and then you get your points. Uh, you get your coins, your diamonds, or whatever the code is for. Um, sometimes you don't know what it's for, and it's a nice little surprise, um, but it's just something that uh, gets you some uh, extra spending money. So I just redeemed the code for one of those community loot packs um, currently, and I just got this game. Um, it's for itch.io, so it's just a DRM-free download. Um, but I got a game. You can see the rest of my inventory here. A lot of it is just uh, mobile game stuff. Um, it isn't super interesting, but I do have some games like Dungeon of the Endless. I think that's a somewhat popular game. Scribble It is also notable. Um, just stuff like that. There's a lot more to this app and website, but uh, it's a lot to get into. Uh, so we're going to move on to the next honorable mention, which is Opium Pulses. This is actually another storefront that you can buy uh, games from. Um, but this website I found out about a long time ago. I don't think a lot of people use it. Um, but they do giveaways um, often. They have lots here that you can see. And you can enter them for free or with points that you get for interacting with the website. You can earn points by uh, completing various achievements on the website, uh, like uh, completing milestones and playing web games in their arcade section. And you can also earn points from daily logins, and you can also get points from completing quests or surveys. And according to them, 1,000 points equals $1, and you can use those points to redeem uh, for a game in the treasure trove. This is where they'll have uh, codes for games that you can redeem for your points. Uh, so if you put in the effort to use the website, you could actually get these games for free. Uh, I've only redeemed one game. I have a ton of points saved up, I believe. I don't know how many I have. Um, but I got the original Prey from 2006 for Steam. Uh, it's removed from Steam. You can't buy it anymore. So that's why I was interested in getting it. Um, so I got a code for that, and now I own it. Like I said, you can use the points to buy a game, or you can use them to enter giveaways. I don't personally use my points to enter giveaways. I save them up so that if there's something I'm interested in from the treasure trope, I can buy that. Um, but there are plenty of free giveaways. Uh, some of them are restricted to certain things. Uh, most of them are open to everyone, but some of them are open to only people who have an account that's less than a year old, or haven't won a giveaway, or have bought something from the store, um, stuff like that, just so that it's more fair for everyone but most of the time the giveaway is open for everyone and you can just uh, enter it and if you win you'll get an email and then you can redeem your code and lastly is a website that I've been on for a long time as well and I've also made several guides um, on but the issue with it is that it changes so much um, so I've made two guides and both of them were quickly outdated um, so I kinda gave up on maintaining that and that's why it's not a real mention because I can't I guarantee that it's going to be the same. It's been pretty consistent uh, in the past year or so, um, but it's changing often, and the the structure of how you uh, can win things uh, is it varies a lot, um, which is why it makes it a bit difficult to talk about. They've been running instant giveaway for games for years, um, and sometimes they give away really good ones like Dead by Daylight. Oftentimes the giveaways are restricted to a certain level or a rank on the site and they just restructured their ranking system and I can't explain it to you because they're changing the system all the time. So it's pretty confusing. Um, but uh, some, if you are in a certain rank, you might even get access to a limited uh, pool of keys that are only available to people who are in your rank. So that might uh, give you more of an incentive to make an investment on the site uh, to actually get more of a chance to getting something free. And the most recent game they gave away was, they actually gave away several games uh, from the Tiny Build, a game publisher, um, that included uh, Mr. Shifty um, and a couple other games. So they do give away some interesting things. Uh, most of the time they're just like uh, in-game uh, codes uh, for in-game packs, stuff like that. But if there's something good being given away, like an actual game, you would see that on the subreddit. People would share that. This is a great website to do a daily login thing, just like Opium Pulses and Loot Boy. Um, there's, uh, you get what they call ARP, that is the uh, Arena Rewards Points, I guess. I think that's what it stands for. Um, and you can use that to level up. I'm tier three, whatever that means. I used to be 
uh, level 30 and then I like got like a mastery and then I got like level 20 again it, it, it changes a lot and they really tried to simplify it this time around um, so tier 3 if you are a higher tier you might have earlier access or uh, special access to games but the one thing I know that they don't change is daily and weekly tasks um, they will have community tasks um, either something as simple as just uh, looking at the page if it's like a sponsored event um, so all I did was click on that link over here in the daily quest section and just I and then I got five ARP I don't know uh, what the conversion rate is for levels um, they also have some web games that they um, let you play and if you play it a bit you don't even have to like uh, get a good score you just you can just play it um, make yourself fail out and then submit your score and you get uh, points daily so uh, there's just other th there's just things to do when you log in and if you're interested you can uh, log in daily and weekly uh, however often you feel and uh, just build up your points so that when a giveaway does come around you have a better chance of getting that because uh, since it's uh, Alienware which is run by Dell uh, it is a easy website to get a lot of traffic and all the keys are gone before you know it. So there's lots to talk about. Uh, so just to recap, uh, definitely check out Humble Bundle often if you're interested in buying games. Uh, I have a web store that I sell uh, game codes for at half price or cheaper. Um, Reddit is your best friend. I highly recommend free game findings for all sorts of free games. Free games on Steam is great if you're only using Steam. Epic Games gave away games weekly as of right now. It could change. Uh, Steam Gifts is a great place to go and enter giveaways for a chance to win free games. Loot Boy is a mobile app if you want to invest on uh, spending time on it in, on your phone. I don't say I'd recommend the website, but the mobile app is fine and uh, it's super easy to use and it takes a bit to learn, but uh, it can be beneficial if you invest your time in it. Opium Pulses is a pretty simple website, but it's possible that you could get some cool stuff from it if you invest some time in Alienware Arena. Uh, is notable for being a well-known brand, so there's a lot of opportunities to get some good stuff if you uh, spend the time on it. So that's the best advice I have uh, for getting cheap and free games uh, coming from someone who has been uh, learning and being involved in it for about eight years. Um, I'm going to continue being involved in it. Uh, I can guarantee that. Uh, it's something that I'm really interested in. Um, and if you have any questions about it, if you have any questions about what I showed you here today, if you have any questions about something else that you find uh, once you start looking into it, um, you can always uh, ask me. You can ask in the comments. You can ask on Discord, Twitter, wherever you want to, and I'd be happy to chat with you about it. It goes without saying, but all these websites will have their links in the description. And I will also have a link to my store and my website and also my Discord. You should join and hang out. I love to talk to people. Um, I'm always around. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you had any success with these, I would love to hear it um, just to see how well this goes for other people. Um, and thank you for watching.